All right, what's up everybody? So I'm here at Davies Plantation Park. They have a lake that has a lot of little bluegill in it. So I'm gonna see if they're biting today. It's been a while since I've been here. You know, it's fall now, so it's starting to cool off and be a little bit nicer out. So they might be a bit more active. The park is a little busy. I don't see a lot of people, but there's a lot of cars in the parking lot. So it's a nice day. I'm, I'm guessing that's why they're probably out walking, hanging out. So let's see if uh, we can catch any fish. Okay, we are live. All right, we're gonna see if the 80 bit on the ultralight is gonna do anything. Again, I haven't been back to this spot since spring, but now it's starting to feel like how it felt when I was back here. Kind of chilly. Let's see if these fish are waking up. Nice playground here. Oh, cool rock wall. That's awesome. I'll have to take a look at this here. So we'll take a few casts right here and see if anything strikes. I have a good feeling about it. Oh, I see bluegill right there. Oh, I got a good hit. I'm seeing little bluegill. There we go. And we got one. This looks like kind of like a, kind of like a bluegill green sunfish hybrid. Let's see him up close, pretty fish. There's a ton of fish in here. Oh, all right, so I'm just going to be picking them off today, I guess. So they are hungry. There we go. It's kind of a little one. This looks more like a green sunfish. A lot brighter than what I was catching. fish. Man, I'm getting torn up here. There we go. A nice one, a nice one. Let's put him in the light. It looks like there's a lot of green sunfish bluegill hybrids in here. that that's pretty but yeah that's some sort of hybrid Something's got it right here. There we go. Oh, I lost him. Let's move up this way a little bit. Oh man, I see a ton of these little guys in here. Oh my gosh, absolutely crushing my lure. I think. Oh, there's so many. I don't know if you guys can see all of them moving around in the water. That's greeny. They think they think me throwing in the fish is food. There we go. That's a good one. Oh. Here, I can put you back, I can put you back. You have a little bit gross from flopping around, but nice fish. I 
there's another one. There's a fighter right there. A nice fighting gill. Oh, well, looks like another hybrid. They're shaped like gills, but they have big, big greeny mouths. So I don't know. Let's go a little deeper. I went deeper and then brought it shallow. That's where I got my hit. Another greeny. Pretty greenies. Those fish that, you know, they get that hybridize. They look really cool. Literally could just catch them right here. Oh, I want a big one. I wanted a bigger one. Probably size up a bit. Hey there. <laughs> no, I'm just catching the little guys for fun. That's why I got the the little rod. They're they're really hitting though the the, the little guys. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're just following everything like it's food. So, <laughs> good luck to you. Yeah, I'll probably I'll be moving off this spot if you want to hit here first, because I, I, I know they hit over there too. So, no problem, no problem. No, no, not at all. I go all over. So, yeah, I've caught some big crappie over there when it was cold. I've caught some bit, pretty big crappie over there when it when it when it's cold outside. Oh, oh, oh. Another little guy. Uh just a, a lure. Uh a small Bobby Garland. You probably drop a hook in there and they'll still hit it though. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the spot where I think I might find some big ones. This is where I've caught some big old crappie. I doubt they'll be biting right now. We're gonna see if anything bites. There's some snakes up along here too, so I gotta be careful. Let's give it a cast. It's beautiful, beautiful day. Some bit it. Oh, some more little guys. Yeah, I might just have to size up a bit. I'm not really sure. I could try sizing up. Oh, that was a good hit. Nice and strong. This, I don't know, they could be red ears? Nah, I think it's still a hybrid. I know red ears have got a 
bit bit of a bigger mouth than the bluegill but pretty fish let's try over here oh got some right away he's a fighter A pretty greeny. Pretty green sunfish. Oh. Here we go. Nice. Oh. You'll be alright, you'll be alright, you'll be alright. Maybe we'll find big mama soon. Oh. It's getting hit. There we go. Ooh. That greenie was a fighter. Look at you. Green sunfish. Yeah, very different from the from Casper Lake out here at Davies Plantation. There we go. I knew we did it. Another pretty hybrid, it looks like. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty hybrid fish. Another one, another one. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll upsize. This looks like a good spot to upsize. We're gonna go with a Bobby Garland straight tail minnow on a 132nd ounce ball head jig. See how that works. Okay, we got the Bobby Garland hooked up, ready to go. Let's see how it does. It's a bit of an upsize. I was fishing more of a creek lure at first. Oh, something hit it. Oh. I might need to. Stuff's hitting it. Just might need to up the drag a little bit. So I don't lose them. There we go. There we go. Not that much bigger. There we go. Something else hit it. Hey, that's a good one. I'm getting a little bit better size with this. A little bit. Nothing crazy. It's another hybrid. When they're thumping it, I'm just letting them take it and then setting that hook. I whipped him out. Yeah, these greenies. <laughs> he barely hit that one. There we go.
All right, we're back. My sister was in crisis mode about her plants. Which she probably killed, but that's okay. Another little guy. Oh, I don't know how big that was. Oh man. Oh man, I'm really tied up here. That push smells really nice out of that tree. Okay, I'm gonna try a little rooster tail just to see what the results are. I think I'm gonna switch back to the slab hunter in the end because I might lose this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this this guy hit that really hard. Okay, bluegill. Might move a bit. Not getting any crappie butts. I didn't expect any. Oh, he took it. But I thought there might be one in here. A summer crappie just a lurking. Let's run it through here and see what they do. Oh, that one's got a little size. He's kind of small. Man, he bit it exactly how you're not supposed to bite it. Man, you got lucky, little fish. Oh, that's some size. There we go. And he bit it the same. Oh, definitely should have brought pliers out since I'm using the rooster tail. There we go. He's all right. Okay, so that actually went better than expected. I wasn't sure if I would even catch any fish because I just hadn't been here in so long, but there was somebody else who came up there and was fishing as well. They kind of had gotten a similar bite to me and uh, 
yeah, we didn't catch any big ones, but, uh, you know, we caught a lot of little ones, which is what I expected if we were going to catch fish here. The crappie doesn't usually bite until it starts to get cold. So, uh, that was fun. I'm glad I got out and did it and, uh, thank you guys for watching.